Last week, I introduced you to Electra. Electra is a beautiful St. Bernard. She's a female. A giant dog. So kind. A dog that has had an absolutely terrible life. How do we know that? Well, you just have to look at her. The fact is that we don't really know anything about her past. She was found by the side of the road, like so many other dogs are found in this country. But she was different. You see, usually you see galgos, you see podencos abandoned by hunters, you see some mixed breeds. But that day, what that woman found was a gigantic San Bernard, but so skinny, so skinny, that she could barely stand up. She was literally skin and bones. And she called us. We took her to the hospital. And when she arrived, she completely collapsed. She just couldn't move anymore. She had reached her limit. So we don't know anything about her life. What we know is her current condition. She has advanced leishmaniasis. She's completely emaciated. She's been eating up her own reserves of fat and muscle because she hasn't eaten or drank anything for God knows how long. And this has created some serious problems. And that lack of nutrients has led into, into she going blind. Her eyes are completely useless. The ophthalmologist says that uh, she will never see again. But deep down we have a hope that at least we'll be able to bring some light to her once she recovers. When you look at her images, you see her tongue sticking out as low as she can go. You know why is that? It's because she doesn't have any strength in her muscles. Her tongue is too heavy for her own strength. Can you believe it? Anyway, over the weekend, we brought her from our hospital, where our vet, Isidore, is, we took her to our local clinic, which is just right there, about uh, 100 meters from my place, so that I can keep a closer eye, so that I can go there every day and see her and spend some time with her. She's doing better. She's been fed. She's been given nutrients. She's been given two blood transfusions. And now she's uh, going through this, what is gonna be a long, a long recovery. She's an amazing animal. Have a look at this. This is Electra. Hola. ¿Cómo estás? Te veo mucho mejor, eh? Ha ganado peso, eh? <laughs> Madre mía, te has comido el plato entero, ¿eh? Y busca más. Electra, cariño, que yo sé que quieres ir para adentro, pero no puede ser. Electra, cariño. Vamos a poner un caprichito. Ya, ya lo sabe, ya. Ya lo, ya lo ha escuchado. Sí. Ya voy a... Ah, qué rico. <risa> pues, toma, toma, toma. Mira, mira lo que tengo. Mira. Mira. Mira, Electra. Mira. Mira qué rico. Mira qué rico.
sikap gua apa apa kita ini cuarenta y vamos Qué bueno eh ahora vamos bien Hola. Venga, vámonos. Vamos, vamos. Vamos. No se dice que no es que no, ¿eh? Ven, vamos. Vamos. Esa columna vertebral era un dedo. Sí, yo creo que la columna ya no se bebe, la caderita aún. Uh. Es tan bonita. Ay, es un movimiento de cola. Que le voy a tener que coger la, pin, la lengua con una pinza sí. o algo. Tiene que lavarlos tanto. Maravillosa. 8 kilos. 8 kilos. Sí, sí, sí. Qué guay. Sí, súper contenta. La verdad es que sí. A ver. <risa> Sí, mira, es súper bonita, estamos ratitos ahora con ella. Y es súper, es, mira, si, si viera, no sé si ve algo, una perra. Pero enseguida, mira. ¡Ay! ¡Qué de cómo es tan guapa! ¿Qué pasa, mojita? Me vas a llenar de babas. Llename de babas. Qué bonita es, por favor. La lengüetita. Es, es que es, mírala, mírala. Es maravillosa, de verdad, eh. 8 kilitos, ¿eh? 8 kilitos se dice pronto, ¿eh? Sí, sí, pues sí. imagínate, ¿eh? Mira, ¿eh? Sí que tiene un poquito más, la veo más... Más de piel. Más... Más jota. ¡Ay, qué tita! ¡Qué tita! ¡Qué tita! ¡Qué tita! Más guapa. Mira. Más agradecida. Más bonita. Ay, ¡Qué cara! Ay, ¡Qué cara! Ay, me encanta que la toque. Me encanta. Me encanta. Que esto es más bueno que el pan. Mira. No dice nada. Cochita, le encanta, le encanta, le encanta. Todo el día sí, todo el día. Los ojos los tenía hundidos totalmente de no tener grasa detrás de los ojos. Hay una grasa que se llama retrovulva que está detrás de los ojos. Y, y no tenía nada, cero. Es que no tenía nada ni una gota de grasa en todo el cuerpo. Y al empezar a engordar, los ojos se le van viendo. Claro. ¿vale? Entonces, y ahora ya se lo estamos viendo. Pero sí que es verdad que esos ojos están de haber tenido una uveitis ahí terrorífica que lo más probable es que se haya llevado el ojo por delante. Claro, ¿No Pero se bueno. podría quitar como se le hace a los arpeis todo ese, Esos, ese párpado que lo tiene? A ver, con el párpado se puede quitar si sobra párpado, que a veces estos perros tienen mucho entropio, que significa que el párpado se mete hacia adentro, eso se puede arreglar es que quirúrgicamente. Pero eh, eso no sirve de nada si el ojo que hay detrás no ve. Claro. ¿vale? Entonces, si el ojo que está funciona, pues se deja. Si el ojo que está no funciona y no da problemas, también se deja. Si el ojo que está no funciona y da problemas, se entonces quitará. mejor se quita. ¿vale? Electra is now at the clinic being treated. And the most challenging part is uh, keeping her leishmaniasis under control. Once, uh, once we achieve that, then she will be slowly putting on weight and feeling better. Hopefully we will be able to, to help with her eyes as well. She will be able to see some light. As I said before, her tongue is sticking out because purely our weakness. Unbelievable. When you look at her, you don't have to, you don't have to see the dog she is today. Please, I want you to imagine the dog that she's going to become in the future once she's better. Because that's the dog she was destined to be. She's amazing, really. Unbelievable, and I'm really sure that she's gonna find a beautiful family that is gonna love her and is gonna take care of her for life. But first, we have to heal her, we have to get her better, and that's the challenge right now. Electra is being treated, and she needs your help. Please donate, help me save her. Please, if you can, join me on my support group on Patreon. I really, really need you there. Thank you.